Hello and welcome to Quality Tools Mod Spotlight. So this is a mod that adds attributes to tools. They can then be enchanted and then you can still change the attributes afterwards as well. So if you make an item, so you see I make this diamond helmet and you can see this time it got a quality. So the first time it didn't, you got about 25 to 35% chance of getting this and what it will do is it will add certain qualities when you make it. Right, it might do so. For instance, we've got a couple of qualities here, right? But it might not. So, if you want to do something about that, you may need to use this thing the reforging station. And what this will allow you to do is to reforge your item into something better. So, for instance, we look at this quality, we've got the quality thick, which reduces the speed. So, we can hit this, and now it goes to tough, and that's a little bit better. And each item you have to repair it with. Um, the material that it's made out of but keep in mind this is not an anvil it's not going to repair the actual item if this if this helmet is is massively damaged when you put a diamond in all it will do is change the quality it won't actually repair the item here's another thing right if you have this this tough helmet you can enchant it right and you can do what you like with it also even if you've already enchanted the so you can you can enchant it from this way but the other way around right uh, you can put an enchanted item in the reforging station and you'll still be able to change the quality so with that in mind let's have a look at all the different attributes that are provided so I'm gonna look at every single one that is provided here so we'll begin with helmets with helmets we can see that we've got various different things we've got protective which provides more armor uh, we've got Arcane, which provides magic shielding. Tough, which gives uh, more armor toughness. And you can see there's crumbling. If you look at the, the color of the text there, you can see this is real absolute rubbish, right? So no bad, lesser toughness, lesser armor, lesser shielding. Dented, also pretty bad. Uh, thick is uh, is, in the, is in the middle. That's why the quality text is the color it, that it is. Heavy has just got bad qualities. Lucky, pretty good. And then we have this, right? So you'll notice here, Masterful. So Masterful always provides three positive qualities to the, the armor. Okay. Now there are some patterns within which arm, which qualities you can get, depending on the piece of the armor, right? But let's actually look and see what those might be. So here's this, here's the section that I did with chest plates, right? And you can see this time we've got cumbersome, which is a new one. But you'll notice that some of these are actually the same. So we've seen arcane and tough, right? So some of them are the same. But what tends to happen is that the good one, the one that goes to the masterful, you see this has got knockback resistance, whereas it was luck on the helmet. So this will actually be part of the, of the you know, the triumvirate of the masterful quality. The masterful quality, and all these qualities are always the same, by the way. It's just that like cumbersome, for instance, is new for diamond chest plate. You wouldn't want that. You'd want to swap that out immediately, right? And you can see there's various different things, but a lot of them are the same. Solid uh, is not the same. Cumbersome is not the same. In that vein, I can sort of cut corners a little bit here, and we could just say what the new ones are, right? Because a lot of it's going to be the same. So we can see we've got springy for the leggings, and you can see the jump height there is reflected. Uh, you know, is 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 an extension or you know you spring up into the masterful quality of the leggings with the uh, with the jump height still uh, retaining the toughness and the armor boost as well uh with the boots you can see we've got speedy boots uh and you can see we've also got actually the tall boots i could put those there actually uh and you can see we've actually got four things on the boots so it's actually a concatenation of so we've got 10 percent speed 0.5 step height and you can see it's a concatenation of those two again with the armor toughness and the armor boost but of course there's other things that we can do with this right if we go up here we can see now this one is for tools now i believe all the tools are the same but there is a huge range and at this point i've realized that there's some which are rubbish some which are not so rubbish and some which are good and some which are amazing right so if you go through the pickaxes, you can see some real, like, for instance, look at this pickaxe. This is as, as rubbish as you can get. Uh, four negative qualities. Negative qualities on dig speed, attack speed, damage, and reach distance. Bulky, also pretty rubbish. That's actually worse in, in some ways because of that huge burden on your dig and attack speed. Uh, chipped, not quite so bad, but still not exactly what you're looking for. 
Uh, broken, a huge burden on the attack damage. Rusted, also pretty rubbish. Uh, clumsy uh, and short, changing the reach distance. Uh, and this one, broad, is also rubbish, so it shouldn't really be in that row. Okay, then we've got some which are a little bit of a little bit of both. We've got pokey, so that will reduce the dig speed and slightly improve your attack damage. Thin, uh, higher attack speed, uh, lower. Oh, obviously, right. Um, there's the potential that on different tools they may have uh, different qualities, right? Um, so, for instance, this on the pickaxe is is much less useful than it would be on a sword. The vicious quality. So that's the sort of thing you might want to get on a sword. Um, and you wouldn't you wouldn't want to lose your your dig speed on a pickaxe for obvious reasons. Then we've got some things which are going a little bit higher up now. So we've got sharp, which will be good on a sword, attack damage, a long reach distance, uh, again good on a sword, uh, keen, again good on a sword. A lot of these are actually really for swords, but I but so I guess really you want to enchant swords more. Uh, keen is pretty solid, plus ten, plus ten on attack speed and damage, uh, sweeping plus twenty attack speed and increased reach as well. We have grace, graceful, which is the one that you may actually want to have on the pickaxe there. Uh, and then finally, we have legendary. So it's got dig speed, attack speed, attack damage, and reach distance, all enhanced. And of course, if you then enchant them afterwards, you'll be able to concatenate those effects, which is really, really cool. So let's move up here then. So here we have the bow. Not so much on the bow, just a couple. We've got cracked and clumsy. Uh, you can see that the the grey is basically the worst, and then you've got red, and then we go into the blue, and then this sort of uh, cyan colour for, for for really good stuff. Um, and again, we can see we've got crumbling, which in general is pretty bad with diamond horse armor. Heavy is bad. This is actually the order. This is actually the order. It's actually listed in the JSON file, um, so you can see you can sort of see how it like increments along. So heavy. Dented is slightly poorer than most stuff. Thick is, is almost on the way to protective, but not quite. And then we have Arcane, Speedy, and then Masterful as well. Pretty nice stuff there. And then we can go into this room over here. And here is uh, just, a, there's just a couple for these ones. We've got the Fishing Rod, just Unlucky and Lucky. Shield, we've got Heavy, Thick. Arcane and solid. So same as the chest plate. And finally we have this, which is the trinket section. So I've I've just put when you look at the JSON file, all these trinkets are listed as ones that can be modified. So they're all available to everything. Um so for in, so if you want to have three, you would have to have your Totem of Undying in your in the offhand, and then you would have to have, say, an amulet in, in the amulet slot and then, you know, in the ring slot and the amulet slot. But let's just go through them again, what we've got. There are some different ones here. Uh, clunky and horrible, again, absolutely useless. Unlucky, not so good. Uh, focusing is good for magic damage. Uh, we've got lucky for luck, speedy, springy, jump high. A lot of the, this, the, uh, the trinket is almost like a best of in terms of everything else. Um, it's what I'm sort of seeing. Shielding, prospecting, um, so this obviously, so there are some additions for the uh, the pickaxe because I guess in a way it's, it's a little bit underrepresented in the uh, in the, in the tools section there. Uh, armored for resistance, flailing, uh, attack speed, strengthening for damage, aiming for protective damage, graceful, athletic, um, which is actually not really included, um, but it is for the jump height I guess. And and then the two really good ones which are undying. And you'll notice you actually get max health from that. Uh, I think this this is that the maybe the only thing that gives max health uh, increases. So you could potentially uh, uh, stack. You get plus six, I guess, if you put it on all three of them. Um, so yeah, so you might want to do something like uh, this. Is how you make it, by the way. Uh, the recipes are fairly straightforward. I don't need to go into that. Um, so we can do. Put that there and the ring here. And you can see we get a little boost. There's actually a weird graphical glitch because of that. And by the way, there is actually I although I said you use the repair material, you can also use a nether star for e everything, right? 
And this is a this is a, a, a material that is, is basically said this can repair pretty much anything. All right, for bows, by the way, it's uh, wood. But you see, see, this is the reason I've got nether stars in here. I can put literally anything in there and it'll work. So potentially, you could, if you wanted to change the config, you could make the this will do it. Cause, I mean, because the effect of this is not that strong. So you having to use a nether star is a little bit excessive. But if you change, for instance, that to a wood plank, what you'd be able to do is you'd be able to get, for instance, legendary or masterful or, you know, athletic or undying or something really good um, for uh, for a lesser price, right? I mean, for instance, something like that, You, w I mean, is, is it worth more than a diamond block? It's an interesting question, but not one that I'm going to answer now. So thanks for watching.